Hey there guys and welcome back to Hersey Games and welcome to episode 21 of the QPR Crew Mode. Now of course if you've missed any of the episode then jump on back to the channel there is a playlist and you can get yourself all nice and caught up. But of course as I'm sure a lot of you all know we are in the Premier League, we are doing okay, uh, we're I think it's like 12th, uh, we're 11th, 2 games, 1 win uh, and 1 loss uh, which kind of sucked but it's not going too badly. We've made some big signings in the last couple of days. Obviously, we've got in Morrison. Uh, we've signed in Nathan Ake. Uh, we've got ourselves Diaz into the squad as well. And we've got ourselves Dragowski. So the squad's starting to slowly pick up in ratings and quality a little bit as well. So that's nice for us. Um, but I'm pretty sure uh, when we ended last time, we still had some money in the kitty. Yeah, we still have about 10 million. Um, with quite a few uh, wages there as well. So if we push it to say, uh, let's say 55, it takes up to 11 million. So we can maybe make one more decent signing. Now I'm kind of stuck between a couple of things. Now I had a lot of people say don't sell Ake, which is fair enough. I'm not too worried about selling Ake. It wasn't like a I'm gonna sell him kind of thing. It was just a possibility. Uh, but it's whether we need another striker or like another centre back or something. I don't know. I'm a little bit stuck, but I'm gonna just go forward a few days. I'm gonna get to transfer deadline day, and we're gonna see what's happening on deadline day. Um, whether we have any outgoings or any incomings. But what I'll do is I'll literally I'll have like the whole day kind of play out rather than um sort of cut it up and edit it. I'll just have this whole transfer deadline day in one clip for you guys to see exactly what's going on. But you guys would have also seen there an email popped up saying that Shadipo has gone out on loan. Uh, but we have five emails, okay. Uh, oh, it's gonna be some rescheduled matches maybe for the uh, European tournament. Maybe the days have been decided. Yeah, okay. So we do, we will know our um, schedule and our teams that we're up against in the European te uh, league now. But Shadipo going to Middlesbrough on a year loan. Uh, so that's interesting for us. That, that is one less sort of rotation player, but actually as somebody that wasn't going to be playing too much, it's not the end of the world for us. Of course we signed Mings as well, who's been sitting in that CDM position. So actually I think Mings is kind of going to be our starting player there. I'm going to put Georgian back into the lineup because um, he is our starting right back furlong on the bench there um i think we're doing okay i think honestly it's just the ratings a little bit that i think are a little bit worrying obviously with us being in the premier league i'd like the ratings to be a little bit higher you know looking at an average of like a gold rated team we are slowly getting there though, though. we are slowly getting there um so we'll save that we've got georgian back into that starting lineup um honestly though i think with spending the money sort of spending 10 million on one player now and it being that's it I don't know if that's what I want to do so what I might do is get a big scout higher like like that there we go like a 5-4 and really start to get some good youth players coming through the ranks I think that might be quite good to do personally um, because QPR right now as well putting a lot of focus into our youth our actual youth team so I think I'm actually going to do that I don't think we're gonna make another signing. I'm not. I'm only gonna buy the one scout. I'm not gonna go and buy like two big expensive scouts. I'm gonna get this guy. I'm gonna wait till uh, the month has finished, and we are gonna get ourselves some youth players coming through the ranks. Um, but we're gonna go through. We're gonna see if any more big deals happen. If anyone comes in for our players, because that then might um, maybe you know change a couple of things around. There we go. Bamiang going to Man City for 80 million. The day I'm recording this right now. Uh, Bamiang is very very close to actually signing for um, Arsenal so that is something uh, but there was a big jump up in that there Deli Ali going to Bayern Munich uh, for just under 80 million and Naby Keita going across to Chelsea for a hefty fee there as well so some big big moves being made um, loan offer for Matt Ingram I think we will accept that uh, get him off to Bolton, get some game time under his belt uh, because obviously we've got two very good keepers now in Smithies and Dragowski so we're not needing uh, any other keepers hanging around but I mean hopefully this transfer window you've been happy with the, the purchases and, and the ongoings because I would say you know it's been the biggest biggest part of the career mode for us so far uh, Ingram going out an offer for Georgian 
I'm not going to be accepting that. That's a decent offer, considering we got him a lot cheaper than that. Uh, but I will not be accepting anything for Georgian right now. Uh, Furlong, sadly, not not good enough to to kind of have that starting right back position in the Premier League right now for us. So um, it was a very 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 good offer though. That was a really really good start. Eight million for a player we got. I think for it can't be more than a million surely. Uh, but another big deal just happened there. Not big enough to be in the top three though. But yeah, that Deli Ali signing is crazy, absolutely mad. But. The transfer window is slamming shut. That is it, the end of the transfer window. But we do have this first game up against Newcastle for this episode. Uh, but we're going to have a little look at the monthly scouting that has happened as well because I just kind of want to show you guys how I run this as well. So um, this guy, I'm going to leave him there. I'm not going to sign him because the uh, potential isn't high enough. Uh, so we'll get rid of that. And then this one. Okay, so he's already gone, so we don't need to worry about him. Um, we'll keep both of those guys as a potential because they've both got potential up to 90 uh, so we'll keep them there for now but I don't think they're going to be that high up however uh, we will also send out our youth scout and oh that was the end of that okay, that's the end as well. we're gonna send out um, our youth scout so I'm gonna try and think um, in the past we've had some good good players from abroad as well uh, we've had some good Dutch guys, like Leroy Fur, Cherry, um, obviously we've had you know, Cesar from Brazil, uh, Remy obviously France, we could maybe go to France, we've got Dufresne coming through the ranks uh, in the youth system, or we could try and get some good English players in, maybe, if I do like a six months and we'll try and find I'll set, I'll set it to any we're not looking for any particular position I guess right now so we'll set it to any and then this guy we will send to France as I said with some of the, uh, the French players we've had in the past and we'll also have him set on any uh, but I guess now we are going to um, well I guess now we're going to go into the Newcastle game Okay, so we're going to go in with his, what is probably our strongest team. So Drigowski in goal, Robinson at left back, Ake and Agpaguma in the middle with Georgian on the right. Tyro Mings coming in at CDM, Freeman and Luongo with Morrison in the middle. And then Brereton and Silla up top home. Hopefully we can get ourselves a good win and bounce back from the, I think it was Arsenal loss in the last episode. Here we are, Loftus Road, obviously in the Premier League. I'm, I'm loving seeing this all the time, seeing the Premier League thing. It's absolutely fantastic. Uh, but we're against Newcastle, um, a team that in the grand scheme of things, is one of the teams we're going to be wanting to look to get points from. Obviously, City was a bit of a long shot, but we managed to get it. And Arsenal, I think, was a bit of a wake-up call. But hopefully, we can just put in a good shift and we can uh, hopefully come away with some points here. Get it to Brereton nice and early. And he's got the pace on the defence. It's a good strike, but it is straight at Tim Krul. Morrison with a nice bit of space to run into. It's a great pass to Silla. Surely, there it is. Finds the bottom corner. That was a nice little build-up play. I think it was Brereton, Robinson was involved earlier on, and then Morrison with a great little pass through to Silla and a nice tidy finish from the main man, Idrissa himself. It was uh, really, really good, actually, because we've, we've been positive. Uh, it's very early on, obviously, but we've been positive in this first little section of the game, uh, and it's nice to, to get the reward and get the lead and get yourself the goal. So 1-0, Idrissa Silla, I think second goal. Yep, second goal in the Prem. Well done, Idrissa, well done, boys. Georgian, we find Ravel Morrison who takes the strike, what a save from Tim Krull, man that shot just kind of came out of nowhere, but we're going to whip the ball in now, oh it's a, bit oh it's a bit near them, Freeman that's a nice cheeky little back heel to Robinson, he's got a bit of space on this wing, Silla, there it is boys, 2-0, a second goal of the game for Idrissa Silla, what a cross in from Jack Robinson, Cheeky little back heel from Luke Freeman there to find Robertson on the overlap out wide. And then Robertson just whips the ball in to the head of a Drissa Silla. This is the kind of thing I want to see from actual QPR. Great build up, just attacking and then get the ball up to the tall man up front. And he will find the back of the net. Prime example of how it's done. Well done boys. 2-0 against Newcastle. Mings now bursting forward. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. I was going to play the through ball to Brereton, but that is half time. Fantastic first half, actually, to be fair. We've uh, been quite quite good defensively, which for me doesn't actually happen very often. I don't think. Yeah, they haven't had a shot. We've actually played pretty well 
in the defence. Robinson has had a blinder, which is why he's pretty tired. But Morrison is also tired, so we are going to take Morrison off and bring on Diaz. He's our young potential guy right now. He's doing really, really well for himself. Uh, we're going to leave Robinson on for now. Probably bring on Furlong at some point for either him or Georgian because the fullbacks are putting they are putting shifts in. They're doing very well, but they're also getting very tired. Georgian to Luongo. Silla. Go on, Ben. Go on, Ben. There it is. I was almost going to take Ben Brereton off at some point because he's just not popped up with goals. He's just not getting the chances. He's getting red. But the build-up there, they did not have a chance of shutting him down. Great, great build-up. Pretty much from the kickoff in the second half. And you know what? They they really have played well. We've, we've just... Oh, look at that. That's with his right foot as well. That's curling into the corner. Fantastic goal. That's his first goal in the Premier League. Took him three games. But you know what? If he scores, he scores. 3-0. Come on, boys. Oh, that's a nice ball through from them. It's a good shot. It's their first shot, and it is their first goal. Hayden with a nice goal. Sloppy defence from me there. I mentioned at half-time how well we've played defensively, and uh, they just kind of tore us apart there. We we just didn't read them. They We didn't pick up the tackles. We were too late to um, Hoselu, is how I'm going to say it. Uh, Dragowski maybe, maybe could have reacted a little bit quicker, but... Um, Good finish from Hayden. 3-1. Oh, that's a good goal. I didn't oh, I didn't commentate because I didn't think they were going to get anything from that. That's really unfortunate. Sav Savier with the header. We're, we're falling apart defensively here. And I'm a bit worried because I've just made both of my changes um, before this goal. And only one of them is kind of defensive. I've, I've taken off Georgian for Furlong because he's quite tired. And then I've brought on Woodburn for Silla. Um, so I'm a little bit nervous now, but hopefully we can hold on. We, we haven't played badly, just two, two sloppy moments in the defence. And we've let them through both times. Oh, wait a second. Ben Brereton? Surely not. Oh, decent effort. Oh, that's a great run from Brereton. Uh, uh, from Brereton? From Woodburn. Passed by Brereton and Diaz is offside. Oh, I shouldn't. I was overthinking it because I was trying to remember names. Oh, that's really foolish of me. Great turn from Woodburn as well. He probably deserved to take the shot himself. But uh, yeah, my own fault there. My own fault. Oh, that's a great ball. Brereton to Woodburn. Go on, in you go. What a finish from Ben Woodburn. The young man with a fantastic little finish. Chipping the keeper. Great Play. It was a great win from Mings. Great, I think it was an interception and then a good pass to Brereton and the ball from Brereton was just quick, straight through. Yeah, good interception there from Mings and then a ball through and then look at this for a finish just over the keeper and it was just quicker than the defender was going to get there. What a finish. Again, pretty sure that's his first goal in the Premier League for us. Ben Woodburn making it 4-2. I feel a little bit better now. So Woodburn. Oh, that's Luongo. Woodburn is way behind. Let's find him now. Great little turn. Woodburn crossed the goal. Oh, he scuffed it. Unlucky, but that is the end of the game. 4-2, and we get ourselves the win. We made it tricky for ourselves in the second half there. We, uh, I don't think, deserved to concede those goals, but they definitely went in. So uh, they played okay. The boys played really, really well. I would personally say my man of the match was Jack Robinson. Absolutely phenomenal. Had a blind of a game. Obviously, still getting those two goals was great as well. Uh, Morrison did do very, very well, but Jack Robinson absolutely ran the show for me, obviously getting the assist. But like I said, both the fullbacks, actually all three of them, Furlong included, coming on the pitch, had a mighty shift on their hand. But Robinson really, 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 really did play well. So uh, well done, boys. Another three points. Just to show you guys on the screen, these are the uh, training that we're going to be doing for this episode and when Georgian gets up to 75 one of those will then go on to either Dufresne or Turner just so you're aware I'll get those going through uh, trying to get basically the starting players the actual players in my main squad up to gold rated so 75 rated and then we carry on getting these youth players up in their ratings and slowly push them into the first team Okay, just want to show you because this did just come in. David Wheeler has gone out on loan to Lincoln City. Isn't going to be getting into the team uh, at the moment, so he does make his way out to Lincoln City on a season-long loan. But now we've got our game against Leicester, so I'll prep the team and I'll show you that. 
Okay, so here is the starting lineup. We've got Dragowski, Robinson, Ake, Akpubi, and Majorjan. Mings, Freeman, Luongo, Nori starting this time because now obviously he has stayed during the transfer window. So I don't want to have him not playing at all. I'll play him every now and again, get him some game time. He'll probably end up playing a fair bit in the uh, some of the cup games and stuff. But then Brereton and Silla up top for this away game to Leicester. Hopefully we can have a better away game than our last one. Okay, here we are. We are at the King Power Stadium and we are, I don't know, I'm feeling good obviously from the last game, but I'm a little bit worried with that little lapse we had in the second half, conceding those two silly goals that we probably shouldn't have done. But I know that they were daft. I know there's a way to avoid it. So that's what we've got to do. Let's go for three more points, boys. Brereton. We find Silla. We're going to have to turn and find another option here. To get it back to Mings. We're going to try one with Mings. Not the best shot, but you know what? It caused uh, Schmeichel some uh, some worries there. So we're going to whip the cross in. Get it to Adrissa. Oh, it's well won by Maguire. Get it to Nori. Silla's making a good run. We find Brereton, who's turned. He's hit it. Oh, it's a bit weak there. But he was, he was obviously he was turning away from it. So it was a tricky one to get on target, let alone past Schmeichel. Brereton to Silla. We're going to turn. We're going to go back to Brereton. Oh, Simpson there. Not my favourite player. Causing us problems. Oh, and that's a great ball to Musa. Is he onside? I think he is, but Dragowski does well to get out to him. Luongo to Freeman. We go back to Luongo. We find a dresser. But we find Brereton. Takes the strike. It's off the bar. One of the best efforts of the half. We've had a lot of the ball. Uh, Nori, the front three especially. Nori, Siller and, and Brereton seeing a lot of possession. But we're just not getting the goal. That's half time. Um, it's been been a bit of a cagey half. It's been mostly kind of both teams trying to get the ball and kind of assert some kind of dominance. Uh, they've only had the one shot and it wasn't a very good shot. It was like a scuffed shot from outside the box that just trickled to Dragowski. But we've seen a lot of the ball. We've had decent efforts, but we just haven't finished them. It's been the problem. Um, the front three are doing okay. I don't, I don't really want to mess with it too much, but I do feel like we need something up there. I feel like Silla's strength is being a little bit wasted, so I'm going to bring on Washington. I'm going to bring him on for Silla. Hopefully the pace of Burton and Washington can do something. Nori might have to make way for either Diaz or Morrison in the second half partway through. Vardy now trying to push through. He's trying to make the space, and he gets it to Mendy. Who finesses it, hits the bar. They've had an effort off the bar as well now. Luongo to Burton. We're going to try a finesse. It's on target. Oh, it wasn't on target. It's just wide. Decent effort, but not on target. And as you can see, we're making the change. Robinson coming off. We're bringing on Woodburn. That's because we've gone to 4-4-2. Mings dropped to left back. And then we've got Woodburn and Nori out wide. The 4-4-2 helped us in a game before. Hopefully it can do a similar kind of thing in this one. Okay, making our last change, it was a tricky one as well because I wanted to bring on Morrison, but with the way the team is now built and set up, it just wasn't going to work. So I brought on Diaz out wide for Nori, and I think I'm just going to have to rest Morrison for the next game, which is a bit of a shame, but I think it was the right call. Oh, they make a good pass. They've got Gray on the ball now. He's going to try and whip it in. Georgian does well, and that is the end of the game. Real, real disappointment there because actually I think we could have snuck a win. They didn't have many chances, didn't throw much of a threat our way. Um, and the chances we did have, we just didn't quite finish. As you can see, it was majority of the problem was it wasn't getting the shots on target. That was our big problem there. Um, they gave the game man of the match to Mings. Couldn't argue that really. We didn't, there was no one really stand out. Um, I mean, the defence in general actually did have quite a strong game. Uh, Mings, I guess, moving from that middle of the park to out wide, played quite well in both, so I couldn't argue that, but a point to point, I guess. Okay, so just as I'm rounding up this episode, because there won't be any more games, because obviously we have the end of the transfer window and stuff at the beginning as well, but I'm going to start off by showing you that Georgian has got up to 75 now, so in the next episode we will be changing up the uh, youth, uh, the sorry, the training, but you can see there, we have our first Euro League game up next, and it is against Galatasaray. That group is, I mean, it it could be a lot worse. I mean, I'll show you some of the other groups. I mean, like we, we dodged the likes of like Moscow, 
Marseille, Spurs are in there as well. We dodged them. Ajax, uh, Lazio. You know, there's some big, big teams here. Leipzig. Um, you know that we we very easily could have got. We we also dodged Cork City, which would have been a massive one. Obviously, probably would have struggled there. Um, but you know, it's it's tricky, regardless of who we get paired up against. You know, there's no there won't be easy games here. We could have had a much much worse group, but I, I'm hoping. You know, if we can even get out the group stage, that would be massive. Even just financially, that's going to be extra money in the kitty and, and would be really, really good for us. So um, I want to know your thoughts on how the team should look coming up here against the Europa League teams. Am I going to change the team a lot? Should it be fairly similar to our starting, like our best squad that we're kind of going to play against the Premier League teams as well? Um, what do you think? Because I, I really value your opinion and I'd really like to know that. But we have a very busy end of the month up ahead of us. These four games will probably all feature in the next episode. So we've got Galatasaray uh, in the Euro uh, European group. Then we're home to West Ham, home to Reading in the Carabao Cup. And then we are away to Watford to end that month. So like I said, in the comment section, let me know what you think I should do in regards to our starting lineup for that team. But hopefully you're enjoying the series. I'm having a lot of fun doing it. I'm hoping to get back into it, playing it a little bit more. Obviously, team of the year and stuff was quite time consuming. And I've got a lot of different things I'm I'm flitting and floating between now work-wise. So uh, I'm just trying to get this really back up and going and hoping you guys are enjoying it. So if you are, please do let me know by leaving a like. And of course, subscribe if you are new around here. But for now, boys, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you all very soon. Look after yourselves.